Unlimited seeker mines. Unlimited explosives. That's what this build is going to be centered on and named after. Because with this build, you can throw out 10 seeker mines every 10 seconds. And on top of that, you can shoot mortars, so more explosives, while those seeker mines are going out and exploding. It's literally unlimited. It's as fast as you can go. Because you throw them out, they explode, you throw them out, you, they explode, you throw them out. They, I mean, it's nonstop. So I'm going to show you my little trick on how I do it. Because if you put yourself in a little rhythm on how you use your skills, you can truly optimize the uh, unlimited potential for this build. But I'm getting a, a little carried away. Let's go ahead and get into this build video. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to give to you a unlimited seeker mine build or explosives build that you can use in PvE all the way up to legendary. That's right. I'm going to show you legendary content unedited, not just the beginning either. You know how these build videos go. They show you the beginning and they're like, oh yeah, it's legendary. No, no, no. They got to show you the whole thing. And I'm going to show you PvP with the exact same build. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But what I'm going to do is we'll do the build breakdown first. Then I'll do the PvP gameplay. That way you can see you know what kind of havoc and chaos that i cause with this build in pvp and then we're going to go over to legendary and we'll do a full legendary run with the exact same build so i hope you enjoy it's pretty simple build breakdown pvp pve and we'll get you out of here so let's go ahead and jump into the build now starting off at the top you cannot use this build combination without the Demolitionist Specialization. So this is actually a requirement this time. It's not one of those, oh, use whatever you want. Doesn't matter. No, it actually does matter in this build. The reason being is it gives you explosives damage, but it also gives you that artillery turret that you are using for this build. So without this specialization, you cannot use this turret. So it is a requirement. So Demolitionist Specialization, that way I do have the Artillery Turret equipped, and then I have it with the Cluster Seeker Mine. I'm doing 10 Seeker Mines every 10 seconds, because every time I throw this out, 10 Mines go out, and I can do that every 10 seconds. And it's funny, because it's roughly about the same time it takes for the Seeker Mines to throw, hit the ground, and go to the enemy and explode. By the time they explode, you're already throwing out your next set of Seekers. It's pretty cool. And just for damage reference, I know a lot of people love that. Here are your cluster numbers just here on paper. 3.4 million and 618k for PvP. Now, I'll switch from this and the explosive Seeker mine for PvP. Just because in PvP, it does hit a little bit harder. Now, those numbers are all going to change because I do have the Waveform Exotic equipped. And that uh, gives me 30% skill damage to each of my skills. So I get plus 30% to my Seeker Mines and plus 30% to my Mortar. But I have to time it out. That way I can, uh, you know, utilize and take the most potential out of the uh, Exotic. Now, what makes this unlimited is going to be the four-piece gear set, hardwired. And you need the backpack because the backpack gives you that talent, short circuit, and that decreases the feedback loop from 20 seconds to 10. And that's how I'm getting that 10-second time frame because every 10 seconds, this feedback loop will be done, and then you can do it again and again. It's pretty quick. Now, because we are using explosives, I am using the China Light chest piece. Reason being is the one piece bonus gives you that explosives damage. 
and I do have glass cannon on here. You can use, um, hmm, like kinetic momentum if you want to use that. Or if you're pairing this up with, like, say, spotter, you could do that. Um, but I do recommend glass cannon. It hits hard, and it's worth it. It, it truly is. I'm going through legendary content, and I'm going through PvP with this build. So just watch the gameplay, put it on, try it out, and then let me know what you get out of this build. But I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. Now, uh, going back to the build breakdown, let's go back up to the weapons. Now, I'm really only using my primary weapon, the test subject, but if things do get hairy, I do have the Scorpio. Now, the test subject is a must in my book because it only takes one or two bullets and you have perfectly in sync activated. Now, with this activated fully, you get 40% more skill damage and weapon damage. So I'm using this a lot in PvP and PvE because I want to get my Seeker Mines to hit as hard as possible because I am primarily using that for my damage. I do use the mortars, yes, but not nearly as much as those Seeker Mines. And you'll see in the legendary content, I mean, I'm getting well over a billion damage at the end of the uh, legendary run. And then in PvP, you'll see I have the most damage dealt in the PvP match, and I'm MVP with this build. So, I mean, it hits really hard, and I can prove it with my own gameplay. Now, remember, everything I show you is going to be solo queue. So, it's just going to be me solo queuing into a PvP match, and then me solo queuing into a legendary match with random people I don't know. And I'm just going to show you how the build works out in the wild, if, you know, if you will. Now, my secondary weapon is the Scorpio. Um, I'm really only using this if, like, a rusher comes up, you know, pop them a few times, get them disoriented, get them shocked, and then let the Seeker Mines blow them up. And then for the sidearm, you can use the TDI card custom, whatever you want, doesn't matter, truly. I'm really only using the test subject because I want that perfectly in sync active, if I'm being honest. But you can use whatever other weapons you want. Now looking at the build four piece hardwired, this one's pretty easy to farm. You could do this in one run and countdown. Just get the backpack, gloves, knee pads, and mask. Um, as soon as you get one of these, just roll skill damage. And that's truly it. All of them roll with a skill tier, so you're good to go. Now, what makes Hardwired so special? Let's talk about these gear set bonuses. We have a skill haste 15%, skill damage 15%, and then that feedback loop. We're not using the repair skill, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Now, that feedback loop is where I get to decrease the skill cooldown of my other skills and increase the skill damage at the same time. So every 10 seconds, I can do the feedback loop, which gives me 10% skill damage. So how I use that is I throw out my Seeker Mines, they hit somebody. I put up my turret, it gives me my Seeker Mines back. I throw out more Seeker Mines, I pick up my turret. I wait the two seconds, I put my turret back up, it gives me my Seeker Mines back. And then I'm truly just doing that over and over. I'm just throwing out Seeker Mines. It's unlimited seeker mines this is the laziest most satisfying build you will probably ever use you can sit back and you know drink a cold one while your skills are doing all the work truly now as far as the attributes everything is skill tier skill damage and skill haste that's just the way it's going to be so hardwired skill damage skill haste mod hardwired backpack skill damage skill haste mod Hardwired Gloves, Skill Damage, Skill Tier. And Hardwired Knee Pads, again, Skill Damage, Skill Tier. Now going to the last two pieces. I'm using the Waveform just because I'm using both of my skills. Both of my skills do damage, so this helps both of my skills. So it's just a win-win scenario in my build situation. And this actually helps out the whole build synergy. So I get more skill damage, I get more skill haste, it gives me a skill tier, and it gives me that 30% skill damage for each of my skills. So that's cool. 
either my mortar is going to hit for 30% more or my seeker mines are going to hit for 30% more. It doesn't matter because both of these skills are pretty much going to one-tap anything. It's really cool. Uh, except for those chungas on Legendary. Yeah, it, it doesn't one-tap those, sadly. I wish. I wish. Anyways, talking about the skills. These numbers are going to fluctuate, remember, because I do have the waveform activated. Here's my artillery turret, skill tier 6, and uh, yeah, it's not too shabby. I'm using the cluster seeker mine, skill tier 6, and also the explosive seeker mine. So I'll be using both of those types of seekers for this build video. Now finishing up in the stats, these are for uh, the test subject. So weapon stats for the test subject, 86.4k weapon damage, 34.5k for PvP. 10 crit chance, 45 crit damage, 75 headshot. I mean, these are just all basic numbers. This is a skill build after all. Going to the offensive tab, we're at 22% all weapons damage bonus and 30% assault rifle damage bonus. So every time we're using the test subject, we're starting off at 52% damage bonus total. Gear talents, we do have that hardwired backpack to decrease the feedback loop, giving us the skills back every 10 seconds. I do have Glass Cannon to amplify all that damage and Waveform to increase the damage of both of my skills. Defensive tab, we're just under 800k armor, uh, 363k health, and 10% hazard and explosive resistance, and that's due to my watch level. Now, this is my disclaimer for all my build videos. I am at watch level 6,889. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 to 50. Now, if you are at or above shade level 1,000 and you copy and paste my build, you'll get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1,000, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out. Therefore, when you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers are going to be lower, and that's just because of these attributes. That's it. Nothing more. It's still a great build. Don't worry about it. It's still fun. Um, try it out and let me know what you think. I mean, you're going to be quite surprised what Unlimited Seeker Minds could do for you. I mean, it's probably going to make you a little lazy. You're just going to want to sit back and let these skills just blow everything up. I mean, it is fun, uh, I do admit. But let me know what you think. Now, if you find this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and take care of yourself. Now I'm going to leave you with gameplay, so I'm going to give you a PvP match and a legendary run, All right? So PvP at its highest form and PvE at its highest form. So try this build out. It truly is a good one, and share it with your friends, and let me know what you think. Hit that like, subscribe. Yeah, you, you know the whole YouTube spiel. Get out of here, all right? Peace out, and enjoy the gameplay. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Roll that gameplay footage. Yeah. And here we are for PvP gameplay of the uh, build. Now remember, this is unlimited seeker mines or unlimited explosives, whatever you want to do. You can use this with um, sticky bombs. You can use this with seeker mines, whatever you want. Just pair it up with the artillery turret aka the mortar turret and you're good to go um this one's weird there's only three players on each team so this one's starting off a little bit weird but whatever now if you haven't already hit that thumbs up support the channel by subscribing and let me know what you think about this build video now i already showed you pve gameplay and here's your pvp gameplay i hope you enjoy and remember, we are using the test subject with seeker mines and the artillery turret. Here we go. And then friendly reminder, skirmish. This is a conflict PvP 4v4 first team to 20 kills. But right now it's 3v3. Defeat the enemy before your reinforcements are spent. Here we go. Wish us luck. Hope we do all right. My uh, my Scorpio is not gonna do anything today. Not in PvP. Oh, 
I see him. Far left. Two of them. Rogue Seeker Mine detected. Hostile Seeker Mine detected. An agent needs assistance. Rogue Defender Drone detected. Hostile Defender Drone detected. Rogue Stinger Hive detected. Hostile Stinger Hive detected. Mm. Agent down. Detected. Hostile hive detected. Uh oh, my teammates are getting messed up over here. Or at least they were. For my next one. Throw it out. Move on, move up, move up, move up. Boost online. Down. Oh my gosh. That was Rogue dirty. Mine detected. That was dirty. Hostile seeker mine detected. The enemy has acquired the boost. Got him. Oh my gosh. The enemy has acquired the boost. Agent down. The team is getting Rogue lit up drone though. Detected. Hostile defender drone detected. Can't even get to them. Shoot. Rogue striker drone detected. Hostile striker drone detected. Mm-hmm. It's right underneath me. Playing like this weird game of cat and mouse. Out, they're gonna push you. Mm -hmm. Rogue defender drone detected. Hostile defender drone detected. Immediate 
Medical mm. assistance needed. Got me. You got me. You Agent got me. GG. Zero. The enemy is claiming the supply drop. Oh, you got me. Good job. Let's the keep it moving. Supply drop has been claimed by, by the enemy. Keep it going. Rogue hive detected. Hostile hive detected. Halfway to the finish. Hmm. He's right there behind us. Watch out. Rogue striker drone detected. Got him. Hostile striker drone detected. Where's that striker drone from? Hmm. Stand by. They're up there. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Oh, I killed Immediate myself. Medical assistance needed. Oh no, I killed myself. <laughs> Agent down. Agent down. Yo, if you saw that, just say I saw that in chat Agent or I killed. saw that in the comments. Just make it our little, you know, our little inside joke for today's video. You don't have to say what you saw. Just make it our own inside joke. Just say, I saw that. Um, I was trying to hit him with the secret mine and roll out of the way, but instead I rolled into it and killed myself. So that was fun. guys tanking there we go ggs and that is your unlimited seeker mines in Solid pvp win. it's pretty much a guaranteed win i mean you have mortars that are going to kill people you have seeker mines that are going to kill people and you just saw me do that entire game live i mean it's pretty simple throw the grenade put up the turret throw another grenade put up the turret Six, two, and two, twenty-eight point four million damage, and that is MVP. GGS. Shout out to everyone on my team. Shout out to everyone on the other team. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. All right, and for the PvE gameplay portion, I just joined this team. We are doing Roosevelt on Legendary. Here we go. Immediate medical assistance uh -oh. needed. 
agent Grenadier. down. Grenadier. Grenadier got me. I'm coming back to you, Tron. I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Agent killed. Uh, no I'm not. They won't let you get me? Oh my gosh. That's so crappy. Thank you for that. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. Another agent has joined your group. Perfectly in sync active. There we go. I think this part's already almost done. You know, besides that little hiccup with the grenadier, I think we're good. Yeah, this is the last enemy right here. GG's. Alright, let's keep it going. Yeah, two of those uh, grenades with glass cannon will uh, will kill you right quick. It's all good. Keep them moving. All right. I sit on this very, very, very left side, and then I can wait. So then what I'll typically do is I'll throw out the Seekers, then I'll put up the turret, then I'll throw out the Seekers again, shoot a mortar, take down the turret, put the turret back up, and then I'll have the Seeker Mines again. Here we go. And then make sure you have that perfectly in the sink activated. And that's how I'm getting those, you know, 6.5 million per Seeker. There we go. Your seekers in. Make sure you have perfect hand sync. And then by the time you shoot one mortar, you can throw the seekers again. Pretty much it. You got it. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. We're doing good. Not bad for a uh, team of randoms, right? Not at all. do is pretty much just keep throwing secret mines. I'll shoot a few mortars here and there. And then just keep shooting my secret mines. Just overcharge. Alright, 
two commands out again. And then you can see, I mean, it's just non-stop two commands. I mean, it's pretty much just as fast as you can do it. Put it right back up. Two commands again. And that's all she wrote. I mean, we're going to do this the entire time. And some people love playing this way. Oh, that's the last enemy. Oh, come on, man. Agent out of action. One hit. One hit. One hit and I'm dead. What's it, one? Agent killed. I have no idea. I feel like I got hit with, like, a grenade and a snipe at the same time. And I never see it coming, either. It's just like, oh, hey, here's a grenade to the face. And then I'm dead. Yeah, maybe I play too aggressive. I don't know. I get told that a lot. He's hitting me! How am I, like, come on. I'm in cover, bro. There we go. heavies fairly quick. I really hate how I'm just like... going system reactivated 
I am not happy about the uh, the two instances with the uh, with the grenades. It is what it is. I mean, I do know that I take that uh, extra incoming damage, but that's what really helps the seeker mines do all of the damage that they do because it's what 6.5 between like 5.9 and 6.5 million per seeker mine I mean I think a couple of those without any of the other buffs it was like around like 4.8 million but even still that's per seeker mine I just lagged out. Agent down. Ooh. Vital signs critical. An agent has gone offline. Yeah, I was about to say I saw him. Disconnect. Getting sniped, bro. Sniper dog and snipers. I'm getting freaking sniped. Holy crap. Is it because I'm wearing yellow? What is this? It's a little extra on the, uh, on the one taps today. Night. I've gotten grenaded. Grenadio. They've got Alex. I do need to wait on my team though. My hive is glitched. Uh oh. Um. Overcharge. Let's see. Overcharge. Question mark. See if that works. Yo, he's taking them on. Oh, by himself. Yo, come on, come on, come on. Team, I go down. Grenadiers. Grenadier! Where's the win? 
That was a purple one from across the map, too. I used to love in Call of Duty, they'd be like, Grenadio! Grenadio! They like the yellow, man. I'm telling you. They like the yellow. I don't know what it is, but they dig it. Need to stop running in front of everyone. We go together as a team. I'll sit back here. Right here. Wait for my team. But hey. You got some unedited, unscripted gameplay for you. The one and only. I think it's the only way to show off these builds. Man. Solo queue environment where anything can go. That's why I do the PvP gameplay the same way. I just I solo queue and what you see is what you get. I mean Obviously, part of it is due to my my own player level. But you can see the build in action. And if you're a better player than I am, probably make this work even better. Make it look even, even cooler, man. With all these hit markers. I'm warming all of the hit markers. Keep going, keep going. Out. I'm wondering what my damage is going to look like when everything's done. So again, it's crazy numbers. Let's see through this pretty uh, smoothly. I mean, it's just me getting, like, sniped. Me running out ahead, I mean. I think we're doing pretty good. I'm really not known for my legendary work. I, I don't have the patience. I truly don't. I like to run through stuff as fast as possible with as much damage as possible. So... People were asking for legendaries, so I figured, you know, hey, why not? Let's do some legendaries. I'm not the best legendary player in the world. I've never claimed to be, but I can do them. And I know my builds can uh, survive through them, so let's do it. On the other side of the fence, oh, I'm gonna be on the other side of the fence. I'm not gonna be the only one.
critical. And got both of us. Good job. That was a seven mil. Off of the freaking seeker mines. Not bad. Seeker mines go. Yeah, more seeker mines. Oh, on my left. I didn't see that guy. Oops. More seeker mines. An agent has disconnected. Oh, dude. I got disconnected again. He made it back, so that's good. Hey, let's keep this train moving. We are about a third of the way there, I believe. Let's see. I want to wait. I don't want to go too far. This isn't bad, though. It is a lot of fun. Here we go. Bro, the rain makes strong Just keep lobbing seekers over there until they stop. And then you can see I can just keep lobbing them. squirrely there for a second, but we're good. Keep it going, keep it going. for them to get in position. There you
he's gonna end up he's gonna end up lagging out again. Yeah, we're we're doing it though. We're about to be at the end. We have made our way. You're doing really good though. Really good. It's crazy how like just I hit matchmake and then boom, you're in a good team. Hey. And these are all random people. I mean, we all have random shade levels. I mean, there's 12,000, but he keeps lagging out every few minutes. 1,800, 1,300, and then mine. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. Let's bring it home. Get out of here. Just go. Oh, dude. They're not. There we go. Oh, the sniper almost got me. I see, bro. The sniper almost got me, too, dude. part last part last part wish us luck oh why'd you overcharge right now bro you should have waited I would have threw my seekers go 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 all right the boat when we jump over. Run to the boat when we jump over. You got it. Roger, roger.
I was about to say I can heal, but I can't because I'm showcasing this build. Looks like one more Wally bot. Here we go. And right, he said go straight for the boat.
Good job, guys. Just got me there. Down. What? Hey, GG's. GG's. I got the merciless. And there we go. Project finished for the week. Legendary Roosevelt. Shout out to Tron, Advancing Edge, and Purple Squad. Um, this is just a random group that I did this with. GG's. GG's. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad, everyone. And again, that is with your unlimited Seeker Minds, unlimited explosion speed. Very cool. Alright, let's get out of here. You have left the group. Now that was the PvE portion, so I'll probably play the PvP portion first because Safe area that was a, a very long mission. But let me think, uh, let me know what you think about this. You can do all the way up to Legendary, or you can do PvP with the exact same build. So that's pretty dope. Um, let's see here. I did 1.3 billion damage, killing 99 people. Um, I was in second for both of those. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very good. 1.1 billion just in explosion damage. Very cool. All right. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. I'm going to end it there. Hit that like, subscribe. You know the whole YouTube spiel. And I'll see you in the next one. This was your unlimited Seeker Minds build or unlimited explosives build, whichever one you want. You can use this with secret mines or sticky bombs. It really doesn't matter. Just pair it up with your artillery turret and you are good to go. But again, I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.